this is Laura. Today what I'm going to share with you is a recipe for some Texas style chili. This is my recipe, how I like to make it. I know there's a million ways to make chili and you know people make it a whole bunch of different ways. Like I said, this is just my recipe and I think you would really enjoy it. Uh, the recipe and the items that I use will always be linked in the description box below. You can take a look there for any other information and other videos that I like to share with y'all. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I surely would like it if you press that subscribe button. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. So if you want to see how I make this Texas style chili, just keep watching. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, we are going to do some prep stuff first. We are going to get our stuff ready so we don't have to stop in between. We are going to use some garlic. We're going to crush the garlic and then just chop it. It doesn't have to be very fine because this is going to cook down in the oven for a while so it will break up. Okay, then we get our onions. Same thing with the onions. We're going to cook it down for, you know, it's going to be cooking down with the meat so you won't see the onion, pieces of onion in there. Now we are going to get our spices together, okay? We are going to mix these up so we can have them ready. And then the salt, of course, you will taste a bit later in the recipe and we will adjust as needed. Okay, so we're going to start with the oregano. We've got some Mexican oregano, some ground comino, and some paprika. And I will list the quantity down below. Don't worry about trying to keep up. And then we're going to use, we're going to make it easy on ourselves. And we are going to use uh, chili powder. Okay. You can make your own chili if you want to. But we're not going to do it for this recipe. Okay. So then we're just going to give the spices a little mix. Add the salt. And like I said, we'll adjust the salt later in the recipe but we do need a little bit to get it going okay here we have our spices okay and for the meat i am going to actually use the beef chili meat okay and the beef chili meat i'm going to actually show you here with my hand the meat is cut a lot bigger than the regular hamburger meat but what i do is i like to mix uh, chili meat and ground beef which is cut a lot smaller in the recipe Okay, so we're going to put, this is about a total of about three pounds of meat. Of course, you're going to adjust to the size of your family. Okay, and we're going to put on some gloves just to give this a mix. For the next step, we are going to add, put on some gloves just so that we can mix this. We are going to add to the meat. A teaspoon and a quarter of salt and some baking soda okay the baking soda what it does is it helps for the meat to brown it really helps it get a little bit more brown get more color in it that we're gonna need for the chili now we're just gonna mix this up make sure everything is mixed in there that you get a little bit of baking powder all over it's not a whole bunch Okay, that should be good right there. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is get our masa ready. You get a little bit of masa and your water. We're going to mix this together. And what this is going to do is going to help thicken the chili. I'm going to add a little bit more water. What this is going to do is it's going to help thicken the chili as it slow cooks in the oven. If you don't have masa, you can definitely use flour, but of course the corn gives it the masa gives it that corn husky taste to it so that's why it's best to use the masa okay i'm gonna pop you all over to the stove and we will get started with this recipe all right we are at the stove we're gonna get this started the first thing that we are going to add is some olive oil about two teaspoons or a tablespoon of olive oil i this is already hot so we're just gonna go ahead and start 
We're going to start by sauteing our onion. Okay, the onions got translucent right away, so we're going to add in our garlic. Okay, that's ready. Now we are just going to go ahead and add in our meat. And we're just going to break this up. And this is going to take a good 20 minutes to brown. So we're just going to let this be and let it take its time. And I'll be back to show y'all in stages how this starts to brown. At this point, I just wanted to show you the meat, what it looks like. It's only been 10 minutes and we do need to brown this a lot more than what it is. So we're just going to keep going. I just want to show you what it looks like in stages. We'll be back. All right, we are back. It's been exactly 30 minutes since I've been browning this. Yes, it takes a little while because this is a lot of meat, but I'm going to show you, hopefully you can see in the camera. You see the bottom of the pan here that you have all these brown bits? That's exactly what we want. That's how toasty we want the meat. So now we are going to add in our spices. See, it's all over. See? All that's going to give your chili a, a whole lot of flavor. Okay, now we are going to add in our spices. We are going to bloom the spices. And we're just going to run them in here. And as the minute this hits the heat, the spices hit the heat, you can actually smell your spices. And pretty much all the onion has already cooked off into the meat. So if you have people that don't like onion, they won't even know it's in here. Okay, that's enough for the spices. We are going to add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add our masa mixture. This will thicken up the chili. This smells so good right now. I wish y'all could smell this. Delicious. Okay, now we are going to throw in our tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can use a can of whole tomatoes. Just crush them up and just put a little bit of water in your can to get the rest of the tomato out and start scraping the bottom of the pan. You're gonna get up all that flavor that's down there. See how the chili thickens up with the masa? You're gonna have your oven preheating at this point to 275 degrees. This is gonna go into the oven for two and a half hours. So you make it to this point, pop it in the oven and then forget about it. Okay, now we are going to add our beans. Now these are optional. If you don't like kidney beans, don't add the kidney beans. You can add pinto beans. You can add all pinto beans or all kidney beans, whatever you prefer, or no beans at all. And then we're gonna add the beans. I rinsed them and then I just filled the can of beans with water and that's it. All righty, this is bubbling. We are going to cover it and now we are gonna pop it in the oven for two and a half hours and I'll be back to show you the finished product. we're back the chili was done I took it out of the oven and I went ahead and showed you a clip right before this to show you what the chili looks like absolutely delicious this is what it looks like in the on the plate look at that look at that how delicious that is now the condiments that I use with them is normally some onion some sour cream and cheddar cheese and then of course you just let everybody Put their own and uh, serve it however you like. Normally we have some cornbread with this but the cornbread is not ready so I can't show you but I am going to go ahead and give this a taste. I can't wait. Okay guys let's give this a taste. The cornbread just came out of the oven but it's super hot so I'm not even going to try to cut it yet and I already put some cheese and some sour cream and onion in here. This smells delicious. I really wish y'all could smell this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Very, very, very good. This is just plain comfort food right here. Let's give it another taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is just absolutely delicious, guys. I really hope you give this a try. And I don't just say that. Believe me, I cook what I like. And this is really, really good. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you give this recipe a try. If you like my content, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. The thumbs up sure helps YouTube share our video a little bit more. So 
Give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out here on the channel. Share the video with family and friends. I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye.